right, today we've got some cool components here uh, from Stereo Integrity. These were loaned to me by Dominic. And we're gonna check these things out. These are the TM65 uh, mid-bass drivers. Um, and the tweeters, matching tweeters. So six and a half inch drivers and they come with push connect terminals, which is kind of interesting. You don't see that a lot on, on component speakers. Um, we've got um, a kind of an odd shaped cast basket. Uh, looks nice. And the nice part thing about these is they're not really all that deep. Uh, magnet looks yeah, pretty standard size. Um, so if you head over to their website, they list the speakers having a 50 millimeter uh, voice coil, which is quite big for a component speaker. Uh, also features an aluminum cone and it says it can play up to around 5,000 hertz on axis and 3.5 thousand hertz off axis. So it's a pretty spectacular ratings on this thing. So we've got like about a five and a half inch cone and the depth on these things is two and a quarter inches, which is, which is fairly, fairly shallow. You know, I th I'm going to say that these are probably about a half inch or so less in depth than, than most speakers out there. And, um, the tweeter, tweeter looks pretty standard. Um, it doesn't appear to come with any, any mounting options or whatever. So their website specs this as a 22 millimeter tweeter. They also make this in a 25 millimeter version. Uh, the smaller one, this is supposed to be for easier mounting and whatnot. It is a soft silk dome tweeter. Uh, it's got a copper voice coil. And they say it'll play down as low as 1600 hertz with a 24 dB per octave slope to be safe. We're going to run these at 3500. Um, I think you're going to need to mount this and, and, and put some sort of double face tape or something to, to, to use this. I imagine you can deconstruct it to fit it if you had some factory location on your A-pillars or door panels or something that you want to use. But we're going to get these things mounted up in a baffle. We're going to run these active. And we're gonna actually gonna hopefully do some A B comparison with some other speakers and give them a, give them a listen. All right, so we've got these mounted up on the baffle, and what we've got here the stereo integrities. Okay, we got a set of Hertz Milli Pro three ways and our Carbon three ways. Okay, so I'm gonna play all three of these. I'm gonna switch in between them. Okay. This one's gonna be number three, okay? Number two, number one, okay? So let's give them a whirl. This is no EQ. There is no subwoofer. They are crossed over at around 75 Hertz. I have the stereo integrity set up with a minus four dB on the tweeter. So let's give them a whirl. Let's see how they sound. All right, what do you think? Um, I'm gonna say that my opinion is they all definitely have a different uh, sound signature to them. Um, I think you'll find that these are quite bright, very clear, um, very balanced for the most part for a two-way. Um, like I said, I had to turn the tweeter down and, and that's something when using a DSP you can really dial these things in. So I think, I think these are pretty good. Um, now the Hertz, they need a lot of work to sound good. 
I, I think they can handle a lot of power. I think they have a lot of mid bass, but they're very lacking in the upper frequencies. This three-way, I, I, I don't think it does necessarily anything perfect, but I think it's, a, it's for a three-way with no equalization, very little tweaking on the levels of it. They sound, you know, really, really good. So a, a good, you know, kind of easy to use speaker. Um, I, we're gonna set these up here. We're gonna do a little demo with these things. I, I have an EQ set up that, that I think is gonna work good. Uh, we're gonna blend in some subwoofer and we'll give it a listen and, and see how that goes. Hey, if you like this type of comment, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment, and also follow us on Facebook. This is the graph of the carbon three-way. As you can see, there's a bit of a peak at the 150 hertz. That's, and this is the hertz three-way. And as you can see, it has even a bigger bump at the 150 hertz range, which was kind of you could tell in their sound signature. As you can see, the stereo integrity response curve is pretty flat. There's a bit of a dip at the 3500 hertz where the two speakers are crossed over at. And above that dip would probably be a little bit more of a peak, but I did cut those levels. All right, so what do you guys think? Um, I'm gonna say for, for their price point, I think you get a good quality, well-built product and you know, I definitely recommend these speakers. Um, I think, you know, maybe compared to some of the big brands that we've tested, like JL and, and some of the other ones, um, you know, I, I think they're a, a, a good value for how much they cost. Uh, I would say that, you know, compared to like the Focals that we've done, the, the Focal Flax, which I, I replaced the Focal Flax with these in the baffle and it would have been nice. Those would have been a, a a good set to uh, compare so sorry sorry I wasn't able to do that but uh, I have another use for those things right now so they had to go and these went in their place so um, I want to say thank you to Dominic for loaning these to me to test um, you know getting stuff to test is hard I can't buy a million sets of speakers to do so anyways I, I, I'm gonna give them two thumbs up you know I think that they stereo integrity has a good reputation um, I understand that their customer service is good. Uh, their products look well made and well thought out. So, um, you know, go out and get yourself a set. So, you know, they didn't pay me to do this. They didn't give me any speakers. So, you know, that's just my opinion on it. So let me know what you guys think. I'd like to hear in the comments and thanks for watching. And we'll have some, some more speaker, component speaker videos and some subwoofer videos coming up uh, here pretty soon. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.